do the same thing back. So if he threw acid on her, what would retribution allow? Her to throw acid on him. But okay, to, for her to throw acid on him. Now in Iran, do women typically win these kinds of cases? No. No, they don't. Did she win this one? Yes. Yes, she did. Okay, go ahead. But instead of getting to throw the same amount of acid on him, she only got to do a certain number of drops in just one of his eyes. Yeah, basically she won originally. And the idea was, is that they were going to take her into a room, they were going to give him some anesthetic, and in fact, she was going to be able to drop acid, not throw it on his face, but drop it specifically into both of his eyes. On appeal, though, on appeal, though, this was partially overturned. And what did the court say? She's a woman, and one, two... Two female eyes are only the equivalent of one male eye, and and I believe it was I believe it was five drops that she was going to be able. So it's going to be very different than what he did to her. Having said all this, did she do it? No. No. She backed away at the absolute last second, and even the article says she should be thinking about marriage and these kinds of things. But she's thinking about dropping acid in someone's face. She said this is not healthy for somebody at the time that was in, I believe, her mid to late 20s. Yeah. What other questions have y'all got? And I, I want to hit some of these articles because this is going to be a big piece of the exam. Please ask now. Um, Go ahead, Ben. What's that? Just, um, what was Saudi counseling? Those people. <laughs> the government trying to, uh, like, what government? Do you remember the country? Yeah. Saudi, Arabia. Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian government dealing with what kind of people, men? Terrorists. Terrorists. What were they doing? Uh, uh, they were try, trying to um, re-educate the terrorists. Re-educate. I like that term. That sounds good. They're going to re-educate the terrorists to become productive members of society. There was a counseling component to this, right? Yeah. What was the counseling? Does anybody know? What's that? There was going to be religious counseling, and they were basically going to try and explain what the real, true doctrine of Islam was, as opposed to their radical doctrine that turned them into terrorists. And, of course, you know, this was nice, but there was something else that made this seem a little shady. Money. Cash. Anything else? Toyota Corollas, I think, is what they were giving them. Anything else? marriage allowances and things like this. So the idea was, well, what was the logic that the Saudi government was doing? Show them, show them that, like, I guess like the better life and the better way of The life. better life. Um, and maybe they'll like change their ways and methods and reform them, you know, like just be nice to them and they'll be nice back to them. There's a degree of that, but it even goes a little deeper. Go ahead. Well, it's more their logic was, if they have something to live for, yes. then they don't have to throw away their life. If they have something to live for, then they're not going to be as apt to die. So if you give them a cash stipend, they've got something. If you provide them with a marriage allowance and a family, then they're not just living for themselves, but they're maybe going to have wife and children and things like this. If you give them a Toyota Corolla, I mean, what more could you ask with the gas mileage and the efficiency? A Toyota Corolla. I mean, I say this somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but that was the logic. What was the cynicism that came up in class about this? What if they spend the money they're getting to fund terrorist programs? That's part of it. The other part of it was... You're creating an incentive to do what? To do those acts to then get... To then get rehabilitated. Was the program successful? Yeah. It was, in fact. It was incredible. I think it was like 97, 98% effective based on what the quotes were. But there was some sense out there that maybe these folks were just accepting the rewards because the hardcore folks really weren't even choosing to participate in the program to begin with. You remember what this article was an example of? A polity. The idea that a like-minded group of individuals, whether you're in favor of something or against something, I mean, and that's what they were doing, is they were trying to create new or re-educate new individuals. Can you give me the other article that was an example of a polity? It was one of the first ones we did. Sometimes polities will be like-minded in the sense that they agree and they are being inclusive, and sometimes polities can have an exclusive mindset meaning. Taco. It was the Taco Stand article. What was the Taco Stand article, Sergio? Uh, there were, in a neighborhood, people were complaining.
complaining that the taco stands were like bringing the value down of like the neighborhood, I guess. Yeah. Bringing people that they didn't want to the neighborhood. Those people were coming in. So what was it that small town Georgia decided to do? They wanted to ban the taco stands. And if they banned the taco stands, what was their logic? If the tacos were gone, the Hispanics would leave. No, but they never said it like that. Yeah. No, they didn't, but, but you kind of knew. The yeah, yeah, they, they actually t said, well, we need to do this for safety reasons, yeah. to clear off the corners, maybe the wrappers and the trash and things. Wrappers meaning what yeah. they put in the taco, not the performers. <laughs> I mean, the wrappers and the trash would be congested in the street, these kinds of things. But in fact, if we ban the taco stands, then the Hispanics would go too. Do you remember any of the other laws that, that were out there? In the taco stand article. Oh, there was the one about the uh, shitting on the porch. Because that's what Hispanics do out in Kansas. You ban too many people from sitting on front porches. And that's the article that quoted this. That's not me making a personal judgment. Ordering in English, all state or local paperwork had to be done in English. Yeah, these were in different places, exactly. But as you go through, consider those, because oftentimes we think that this is just small towns, but in fact, it was actually all over the U.S. where there were some of these xenophobic kind of laws. When you look at these, and, and I, I know i got to move on, but when you look at some of these, Yemen and the Pakistan article, when you think about it, those were dealing with women's issues. And at different points this semester, we have dealt with women's issues. And what I would suggest that you do on this is as you go through and you read you know, the articles, look for themes. There's a, a restaurant theme and, and, and shopping theme that we've had. There is a, a women's issue theme that we've had when you think about this. And there are probably some others that we'll get to. Children, you could maybe even argue, we've talked about policies for children in a couple of ways. When you get into child labor or, in fact, when you get into the, the Yemen article as well. So, so kind of keep these in mind. And then the Iraq vote, if you remember, was basically just saying who should determine if American troops should stay. If you truly want a democracy in Iraq, oh, it should be the Iraqi people that should determine this. It should not be the United States. And we had a debate over that because if the U.S. is going to risk the lives and spend the money, it seems like they should have more of a say. Yeah, but but that know. was the whole point because the United States went to Iraq to improve the Iraq. Yes, improve. That's, so that's one thing. And that is not the way that no, it works either. Different. Yeah, I, I agree with you. But if you want a true democracy, then they should yeah. be allowed to vote and determine yeah. it. And if you remember, there was a lot of debate over that. Right. Go ahead. Wasn't that the one where we kind of had a thought that they weren't going to let them have the vote because they knew American knew that they would vote that? Exactly. Yeah, and they never did have that vote. Right. They never did they have did that have vote. Something. They had a number. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was even, it was much higher than 50, yeah. in fact, if we were ready for the U.S. to go. I think it was closer to 70, but, but it was never an official election. It was, it was more like polls. When you go back to Chapter 3 now, and talking about ideology, there's really the four terms, liberal, conservative, populist, and libertarian. And for some reason, man, something got cut off up here. I don't know what happened with Chapter 3 terms. But, but when you look back on this, we, I gave you the bedroom and the wallet quiz. The first part of this is really going to be to determine what the connection is between bedroom and wallet for liberal, libertarian, populist, and uh, conservative. What is that relationship? Bedroom and wallet, economic versus moral issues. H how does a libertarian view these? Most governments pay out both moral and economic issues. Yeah, the individual rise and fall on his or her own merits, in fact. Uh, libertarians believe in the legalization of weed. They believe that there should not be uh, maybe paid vacations or national health insurance. They believe that there should not even be a minimum wage. By the same token, abortion, the government should stay out of. That's the individual's choice. Gay marriage, the individual sh is going to be the primary decision maker there. The government should stay out of that. When you start getting into imposing religious views, no, the government shouldn't do this either. So when you think about it, and, and there were a few of you that had scored in the libertarian element of things, but, but for our purposes, they believe that, again, the government that governs best is the one that governs least. What, what, yes? Um, just a question. If they don't believe that there should be any minimum wage at all, like, what, what's the Their argument would basically be that you, Ray, should be able to determine your minimum wage. Because, Ray, let's say, 
Let's say that in an ideal world,